Keep watching Charis TV. I was uh, I was praying and I was so much concerned about our church. When I was when I say our church, I mean you know the church of of Jesus Christ. I don't mean Charis. I mean all churches. My concern was if the fear of Satan can enter the church. Are you hearing me? If the fear of Satan can do what? Can enter the church. Those that are not even saved now, as I'm speaking, they are looking unto the church. You must get me very well. Those that are what? Not saved. They are doing what? They are looking unto the church, the response of the church. Now, if the church can have fear, I can't even speak about Christians. What will happen to those that right now as I'm speaking, they are looking unto the church, hoping that something will come out of the church. But the church itself, it has got fear. What will happen to them? Huh? What will happen to them? Because what, what I'm, I've been hearing all along, I believe this thing started in 2019 when I told you on the 31st. <clears throat> I don't know. I believe it started there. And when we told you what will happen in 2020, now I'm seeing fear entering us now. Hey, pastors. I'm seeing fear entering you to a point that the church, if pastors have got fear, we can't talk about the church. Huh? Huh? I can't hear you. Am I speaking some sense to you? If the pastors have got what? We can't talk about what? The church. Already the church is finished. I'm telling you. Or maybe we have got wrong people that are calling themselves pastors. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. Are you hearing me? Maybe we've got what? Because to be a pastor, you need to, you need the Holy Spirit to, to use you. You know. Last time I was saying to another brother, I said, we don't have certificates. It's not like we go to school and we pass and we come and say, you see, this is our certificates, you know, for us to be pastors. Everyone can be a pastor. I even said to that brother, even me, what if I'm not a pastor? I was telling you. So what if even me, I'm just, I call myself, it's possible. On the 31st, I told you this thing. Yes, I'm going to pray for you. I said to you, this year, we are going to have divisions that we have never seen. I even said, the divisions I'm talking about, they will even enter the church. You know how we're going to be divided now in the church? Some pastors will from now on, they won't know where they are standing. And you've been looking up to them so much because you love, you love pastors. And when they take a vaccine, you'll be confused. <laughs> huh? If they go there and say, bitch, with that thing, and jugu, you'll start to say, hey, 
Why now the Mufundis is taking it? Oh, it means it's your afala. It means it's your afa. Even me, I must go and do it. And take it. I'm not saying people must not do that. It must be your own. Remember, salvation is between you and God. Are you hearing me? But what is it that is written in the word of God? If the church can be afraid of sickness, why are we here? Let's close and go home. Huh? Can we close and go home? Huh? Why are we here? Are we here to collect money from you? Huh? Then why are we here? If a church can be afraid of a sickness, why are we here? I want to pray for you. This thing has been eating my spirit. Why are we here? Why are you cold? Huh? Maybe I'll ask pastors. Let me get a mic. Why are you cold, sir? Why are you cold? Why, why are you cold? Why are you cold? Huh? Let me ask. Why, why are you cold? Huh? Why are you cold? Are you, are you cold to protect your life from death? Huh? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to speak, but I'm sure you're hearing me. Let me. Let me. Let me ask him. He has got a church. Let me ask him. Why are we cold? Are we cold? Are we cold to be afraid of sickness? Huh? Then why are we cold? then how are we going to heal people if us, who are called pastors, are afraid of, of a disease? <laughs> You're afraid to die. You love, you love beggars. Eh? You love be chips and beg. Uh, they call it what? Fish and chips. You don't want to die. You, you still want to eat fish and chips. You know, you still have ambitions. You still want to live more. Let me ask my, my pastor, why, why are we called? To preach the gospel to people as a good news and liberate them. Can you hear that? To liberate what? To liberate you. What is the meaning of liberation? Out of slavery to be free. You will be free in the name of Jesus. Listen. I, told, I was saying this to myself that if I'm not like other people, I'm sorry to say that. If there are people that will bow down to Satan, I will stand up and look at him and say, hey, you, you must know one thing. I will never listen to you. Are oh, you hearing me? Huh? Because what Satan is trying to do now He's trying to get the whole world to bow down to him. Huh? That's what he's doing now. He's trying to get what? The whole world now to bow down to him now and say, you are a king now. Uh -uh. Where are the real Christians? Huh? You are a Christian by condition. When things are nice, you are a Christian. When, when things are good, you're a Christian. But when things are getting tough, this is, I, I told you last time when I see, I said, this is the time of the apostles. <laughs> I even said it on the 31st. I said, we'll have groups. There will be this group, there will be this group. There will be a group that will agree to bow down to Satan. And there will be another group that will say, we will rather die standing on the truth. This is what, it, what used to happen by the time of the apostles. Are you hearing me? You, you, have, you have enjoyed your freedom. Now for that freedom to finish, it's now. In fact, that freedom is, is finished. 
it's your time now to show us if you're a Christian or not. Huh? 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 Amen. <laughs> All right. Tell the neighbor, say, All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the way people are dying, you think it's normal. Huh? You think there's a sickness that is killing people. Satan is doing his job. He has found an opportunity of doing that. And bring more fear now to you now. Fear, fear, fear. Lo, I know sometimes what's one more lower gisuba or gisuba nyana. Hey, I'm still alive. Well, what are we called for? Are we called to eat money from people? Or are we, call, are we called to liberate our people? Because now if we are afraid of sin, I mean if we are afraid of death and sickness, there's no need to have a church. I'm leaving it like that. If pastors are afraid of what? Death and sickness. There's no need of what? To have a church. Why are they having a church? Or why are you noise from there? La sweater, you go home. Huh? Is that the purpose? No. No. If we are afraid... If your pastor is afraid, change that church. Because the Bible says those who try to save their lives, they will do it. <laughs> they will do it. Let me ask this one. They will lose it. But those who lose their lives because of what? Christ. They will do it. Let me ask this one. Huh? They will lose. <laughs> You read your Bible on Sunday. You must read your Bible. Because I think many of us, we are, to be honest with you, we are well known here. Huh? If now I take a, a, a jab or whatever that's saying it, how will you feel? Am I not trying to protect my life? Huh? I am. So what about you? What about the Jesus I'm preaching here on the pulpit? What did he die for? Because the, the word of God says by the stripes. You are what? Then why are you protecting yourself? Oh, you win. I must get a gun like this. I ask pastors one by one. I say, stand here. Did you take the vaccine? Ari, yes, boom. Go to hell. I'm telling you. Huh? I'm really telling you. Because pastors are given the Holy Spirit and authority to heal people. Not so. Huh? Then why are they protecting themselves? Let me ask again. Are we not given authority to heal our people? Let me get a mic. <laughs> Let me get a mic. I want to, before I pray for people. Are we not given an authority to heal our people? Let me, let me hear. Yeah, it's true. We have authority. We have been given what? Can't, what is anointing? Huh? Pella anointing is not to make you fall, when I... Huh? Anointing is not to make you fall. Uh -uh. Where there's anointing, there must be a solution. Are you hearing me? Where there's what? Anointing, there must be what? A solution. You can clap. I heard you are clapping.
But if we are so much anointed, but we still want to protect ourselves, what are we saying? What are we saying? Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you now? I, I wanted to cough this thing out. Can I pray for you now? <laughs> I hope I didn't offend you. Can I pray for you? I didn't offend you, right? The Bible says speak the truth. And it will set you free. I didn't offend anyone, right? Thank you. Thank you if I didn't offend you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to speak reality that what are we called for? That's what I'm trying to say. Are we called to just eat offering? Is that what we are called for? Huh? No. One day Jesus Christ said to Peter, from today, you'll, you're going to be a fisher of men. What is the fisher of men? That's what Jesus Christ said. You're going to be a fisher of men. I think slowly but surely, because of what is happening on this earth, pastors are losing, we are losing our, the meaning of being a pastor. Now I'm praying that God, God must save. Save. You know when we grew up, we used to have this thing when we, after you milk a cow, you put, uh, they call it a cloth, and you put another container down here. And the one that you're using to milk, you do it like this, and the cloth will be saving, saving, saving. Yeah, it's called saving. Saving the deity that was there. God must save now. Huh? The deity must be left on top. The dirty must what? Uh -huh. The dirty must be left on top. Stand with God now. We want to see. You know, the God that we've been claiming so much, so much that we, we must stand with him now. Amen. And we say, no, we are not doing this. Amen. We are doing this. Now, when the world is going left, all of us must go there. I, I told my wife, I said, I'll be the first one to prophesy against this thing. If now anyone doesn't want to prophesy because they are quite they're afraid, I'll prophesy against it. <laughs> and, and let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm saying what? Yes. Let's see. Let's see if you won't be free. Let's see. Yes. I'm telling you. Because if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they decided to stand with the group, that king was not supposed to know Jesus Christ. Now for our enemy now to know the God we are serving, let's show him. I'm telling you, there's no need to have fear. Our enemy now must know that we are serving a living God. Amen. Now, as I'm speaking, Amen. until he changes his mind and say, indeed, your God is alive. Amen. But now if they change, they're afraid. We don't know what you are doing. Hey, people are dying. Hey, well, you are still going to die. Oh. You are still going to die. Your life, you call out tomorrow, you're afraid to die. Your life, it's called Your car, it's called Your house, it's called Even your shoes, it's called you're afraid to die. If I were you, I'll be ready. So now what I'm trying to say is, let us stand together in our faith and believe in God. Are you hearing me? And believe what? In God. If this world is turning like this, we Christians, we can move it back. 
Are you hearing me? Amen. Maybe you don't trust your prayers. Do you trust your prayers? Huh? Amen. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Can I pray for you now? Amen. I, I was worried. I, pastors, now I was worried. I was so much worried. I was so worried. Let me, let me pray for you now. Hey, I was so worried that if all of us we can be afraid, ah, ah, where, is, where is God now? Where is this God? You know, the, the one that you always brag about, that hey, my pastor is powerful, my pastor is powerful. He must be powerful now. This is the right time to be powerful. Hey, <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes. This is the right time to be what? Yes. Uh -huh. Let us see. Powerful, powerful, because you are driving a nicer car. Who told you anointing is about a car? A man can have anointing but still be poor. Are you hearing me? Yes. A man can be what? He can have a lot of anointing. Still be poor. You measure anointing because of the material. Can I pray for you now? Amen. At least this thing is, I was worried. <laughs> I'm telling you. I was what? Worried. I was so worried about our church. I believe this fear is coming out. Amen. You can clap hands for Holy Spirit. Clap hands for Holy Spirit. Clap hands, clap hands, clap hands for Holy Spirit. Clap hands, clap hands for Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 